Hey, God bless your friends. Thank you for joining me. Rob Wood here at Rob Wood's Ministries. Is coronavirus or COVID-19 in the Bible? Let me take you to Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. It said, And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you're not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation. In the Greek, that word nation against nation means race groups, against race groups, ethnic groups against ethnic groups. We're certainly seeing that in today's hour. And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. These are the beginnings of sorrow. Now, pestilence, obviously, in the Bible means deadly disease or a plague. Is coronavirus in the Bible? Friends, in Psalms 91, it talks about, and he shall save you or cover you from the plagues or the pestilences. It says a thousand may fall at one side, 10,000 on the other. So the God right now is comforting people. He's taking the fear out of people's heart. He's releasing a spirit of tenaciousness, a spirit of prayer to go throughout the earth, a global repentance that's going to bring a third wave, a third great awakening, a revival, an outpouring of the presence of the Lord. My friends, the question I have for you today as an evangelist, the revivalist, the minister of the Lord Jesus Christ, have you been born again? Do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? God forbid if you caught this virus and you took your last breath, would you, and I'm not prophesying that by the way, but Maybe someone could get hit by a car. Maybe an asteroid could You just don't know because the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow's promise to no man. You would be surprised how many people have ministered the gospel to in person and some died that night or the next day. It happened several times in the last 30 years as they've been serving Jesus. But friends, my question is, have you been born again? Are you washed in the blood of Jesus Christ? Is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? Join me in a prayer if you want to accept Jesus right now. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you, Lord, for being my Lord and Savior. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me in your blood. Accept me as a son or a daughter into the kingdom of God. And friends, if you prayed that prayer in the comments section, say, I prayed the prayer. I want to pray for you personally. The Bible says angels are throwing a party. In heaven, when one sinner, when one person repents of their sin and come home to the Lord Jesus, the Bible says the angels throw a party. They're excited. They're rejoicing. Hallelujah. And we're seeing a harvest. I believe we're going to see millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions come into the kingdom of God because what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around for the good. Friends, God is in control. He knows and he does allow some things to come to pass to shake people. The book of Hebrews talks about a great shaking. Haggai talks about a great shaking. The Lord says, I'm going to shake everything so only that I will remain. And isn't it interesting that the sports industry and NBA and all these, the idol of sports has been shaken in Hollywood and the, everything's been shaken, my friends. People can't even go out to eat dinner in a restaurant. Now, obviously, you can get takeout. Who knows how long that'll last for, but... Friends, serve Jesus with all your heart. Let's get in prayer. Let's see a move of God in this hour. Bless you in Jesus' name. Under the search, Rob Wood 1, Rob with 2 Bs. Many of the preaching, ministry, teaching videos via YouTube. You can check them out. Bless you in Jesus' name.